Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wish you all a very happy new year. Today I am going to do a tutorial on how to draw skin with colored pencils. I have already made a tutorial on how to draw skin before where I mostly used the layering method to get the desired effect. But in this tutorial I am going to use a slightly different approach to get a much smoother result. Also I will show you how to select the colors needed for drawing a portrait and how to modify those colors by layering with other colors. So I will start by talking about the materials needed for the drawing first. The paper used for the drawing plays a major role in the final outcome of the drawing. In general, thicker paper is better because they tend to tolerate heavy color laydown and burnishing. And the paper should be smooth. Heavily textured paper is not at all suitable for getting a smooth realistic skin tone. Those grains will show up even after several layers and burnishing and it will seriously affect the realism. If you are using a watercolor paper, make sure to get a hot pressed paper. For other papers, get the one which are labeled smooth or plate surface. Don't use the papers labeled cold pressed, rough or vellum. Here I am using Bristol plate surface paper which is really good for a smooth lay down and takes a lot of layers. Also note that as the paper gets smoother, the number of layers you can lay down gets lower. So you should avoid extra slick papers like marker papers too. Coming to the pencils, I prefer using soft coat pencils like Prismacolor, Caran d'Ache Luminance or even Turban Light Fast because they give better result when burnishing. If you don't know what burnishing is, you can check out my colored pencil blending tutorial from the link above. But you can use pencils of your choice. Some people prefer using oil based pencils with harder leads like polychromos pencils. It is all up to you. You need to have some skin tone colors in your set. You don't have to get all the portrait colors, you just need a light, medium and a dark color. Most pencil set will have those three. But if you have more color values, you don't have to layer a lot and you can avoid wax blooming. It is always better to use a reference image for selecting the colors and values. You don't necessarily need to copy the image but you can have an idea of the colors needed and the color value. Here I'll show you how to pick some colors to draw this skin tone. If you are planning to draw darker skin tones, you can use a reference image with those skin tones. Whatever the skin tone, the color picking method is the same. In this image, I'll start by picking the lightest part of the skin. Here, the light is coming from above and her forehead and upper cheeks are getting the most light. So they are the lightest portions of the portrait. You can use any image editing software for this. Here, I'm using Procreate on my iPad. You just need a color picker tool and a large round brush to paint it. This step is very important because when looking at a reference picture and deciding on colors, the value gets wrong most of the time. Our brain sees the image as a face with a particular skin tone. Even the lightest skin toned people will have very dark browns over the shadows. But our brain sees the image as a whole and we may see those colors as lighter. So, when drawing with those colors in mind, the end result will be very two-dimensional and not at all realistic. It is very difficult to exactly identify the colors from a photo even for trained eyes due to that optical illusion. So for beginners, it is better to pick colors using an image editing software like Photoshop. Here you can see that I have picked colors from 5 different areas of the portrait and you can see that the value difference from those 5 areas are enormous. But you cannot identify this much of value variation by looking at the picture alone. So now I can select the colored pencils I need for drawing this portrait from my set. Most of the times you will not have the exact shade of the colored pencils but try to pick a close color with the same value. Here the value is more important than the color itself. Slight changes in color is not an issue but the value should be very similar. That is how much light or dark the color is. Most of the times the color is more saturated than we want. In such cases, you can use a layer of lighter less saturated color over those colors. Here in this tutorial, my mid-tone color was a bit saturated and more yellowish. So I had to desaturate it with a lighter and less saturated color. You can use colors like cream, light peach or even white. The other problem people commonly come across when drawing skin is that the final drawing looks lifeless or like a wooden statue. This is because most portrait colors are different shades of browns. The skin is actually translucent and will show the color of blood through it. 
This is true even for darker toned people. So we can add different shades of pinks or reds to modify those brown shades and you will end up getting a much more realistic skin. But make sure to use those colors sparingly or it will look very artificial. So for very light skin you can use a light pink for getting that realism and for darker skin tones use reds with darker values. The change of the color tone is very subtle but overall the effect is very noticeable. Use a very light hand or just use the weight of the pencil alone for adding those red colors. Otherwise it will ruin the drawing. So coming to the drawing I have followed the above steps and I picked around 5 colors to draw the skin. I am using Derwin light fast pencils and some Caran d'Ache luminance and Prismacolor pencils. For easy understanding I'll show you how I drew this side of her face. I always start with the lightest color and slowly work the way up. Here you can see that I have already laid down the lightest color over the upper part of the cheek. Then the color is going to get darker and darker as we approach towards the edge of the face. So I layer those colors one by one until I reach the edge of the face. Also make sure to use a very light hand all the time. And the pencil should be reasonably sharp. Slowly build the color layer by layer and overlap the color so that you get a nice gradation. Drawing skin is not an easy job. It takes a lot of time and effort to build that smooth color gradation. If you need an in-depth tutorial on colored pencil layering, you can check out my colored pencil blending tutorial from the pop-up above. So I am finally satisfied with the color gradation and values. At this point you can see that I have almost completely covered the paper. But still you can see the grain of the paper showing through. This is when we have to use a lighter color to burnish the drawing. Here I am using the lightest skin color I picked and going over the drawing with moderate pressure. You have to press a little bit harder for burnishing to work. But don't do it too much since it may lift the colors we have already put down. Burnishing makes the drawing much smoother as you can see here. It also helps in desaturating some colors to get a better realism. Here you can see that it is desaturating those yellowish mid-tone colors. You can use a blender pencil for burnishing too. It will also desaturate the colors and make the drawing smoother. But take care not to lift the colors from the paper with excess force. If your initial color laydown is good with proper color gradation and without any blotchy spots, you will get a really good result once you burnish your drawing. If you are having trouble getting a good color gradation, I suggest you to practice blending two or more colors by layering method. I hope this tutorial helped you in understanding the basics of skin drawing with colored pencils. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment box below and I will try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and see the rest of the drawing in a time lapse.